Everyone's Corner, featuring singers, songwriters, and authors from all over the world. We are so excited you've joined us, and we're looking forward to having a great time. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to use the comment section from wherever you're watching to interact during our live shows. We're so excited about our special guests and can't wait to hang out with you. Stream Carolyn's Corner live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and 1071krxp.com. It's Carolyn. We're so excited about our special guest tonight, and we're so glad you're here. Get ready. We're going to have some fun. Welcome to Carolyn's Corner. to Carolyn's Corner. We had a mix up on the scheduling and it was all my fault. I said a scheduling conflict, but it was a scheduling conflict in my brain. <laughs> but I am so glad that we are here and I'm confident that as many of you as possible will be here. I can always count on you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm so excited to be here tonight with our special guest. You know what? I, it, I always think it can't get any better, but it just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better. So tonight is absolutely no exception. Folks, I'd like to introduce our, our special guest tonight. Please help us welcome Miss Mary Elizabeth Jackson. Yay, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mary. Hold on a second, I forgot. This yeah. crowd in here, they're crazy. They're cr Calm down, people. She's only, she. I'm bowing. I'm bowing. <laughs> Oh, these people, I tell you. They're All wild right. in Texas. Hi, ah, yes, the, us Texans, you know, we're crazy. So Mary, Mary Elizabeth, Mary, I am so happy to have you here. I tell you what, right off the bat, I want you, and we're waiting for people to get here. I know we kind of had a scheduling conflict. Um, for those of you who are tuning in after the live show, please, it's so important that you like, comment, and share, and share, and share. Please help uh, Miss Mary Elizabeth get her information out there because she is helping a lot of people with her wonderful books and incredible things that she's doing. So, Mary, I'm going to have you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. And go right ahead. All right. I have to tell you that um, when you were playing the video, my son came in and he was dancing in the background. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. OK, I'm I'm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that's so sweet. Tell him I said hi. Where is he? Tell him hi. Here, come say hi real quick. This is, a, this, is a, this is a, this is an interview. You can come say hi. This is Carson. Come Carson. Here. Carson. <laughs> well, hi. Hey, how old are you? Ten. No way. Guess what? I have a grandson named Spencer and he's seven. Spencer, oh. grandma loves you. Oh my oh. gosh, Carson. And you like to dance and sing? Do you like to sing too? Yeah. Was that all oh man, so does he. Man, I'm so excited that you're here. We're going to have some fun tonight with, with mom, okay? okay? And you can come in anytime you want and hang out, okay? We're going to okay, laugh a little cool. bit. 
Right. How about okay. I just be right here? Okay, you want to be just right here? <laughs> well, if that's okay, if that's okay with mom. So, uh, mom, Mary, go ahead and tell me about yourself, and I'm going to make sure we're all set to go so we can see those great comments. And again, I'm sorry about the scheduling conflict. I really am. Okay. But we're going to share it a lot to get it out to everyone. Go ahead, yeah. sweetie. So, okay. So yeah, this is a family affair, everything we're doing in our life. And here with my son, I think this is probably the first interview. He's actually sat on my lap during it. That's okay. I love it. I love it. Cause I'm a my mom. Big ideas, right? <laughs> Sorry. This is my mom. Yeah, I'm a mom. Oh, so yeah. I love it. Yes. So, uh, I'm a, I'm a children's author and uh, this little guy here, was one of the inspirations for the series. Um, and I'm also an advocate for special needs and disabilities. So I've been doing that kind of work for almost 20 years. My second daughter and my son are both on the spectrum. So okay. my life is very much filled with this kind of work. And, and I'm very passionate about spreading awareness, about uh, teaching, about resources, about helping, because I know how lonely I felt uh, and by myself and just hopeless, yeah. somehow, you know, on this journey. And uh, it's about, we really want to empower our kids. I started live streaming. Uh, 2017, I got published. That was my first publishing a contract and I was 48. So all I can say to you is if you want to do something, especially if you want to write a book, write a song, whatever you want to do, as long as it's legal, do it now, do it now. Don't wait and don't Amen. wait for that right time. Because when I tell you my writing journey has been in the car writer line, it has been at practices, at rehearsals, at wherever it could be. I mean, I, at three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, whenever I could cram it in, you know, so I've gotten used to tuning things out a little bit so that I yeah. can really go because I have to learn how to hyper focus. That doesn't work for everybody. That was what I had to do, right? If I was going to do this, that's just kind of how things worked out. And um, because he was three, I guess, when I got published and and life was pretty full with him and uh, lots of therapies and all kinds of stuff that we had to do for him. So right. very busy. Um, my kids are the reasons that I became an advocate for special needs and disabilities. My middle daughter, um, went through an incredible trauma at five, which led me on a different path as an advocate and seeking to change the law in the state that I live in. Um, and still working on those things. Like it's never, like I've never pushed it away. Like when things come up, you know, um, yeah. I'm still trying to work through that. And a lot of times things that I do are through um, Autism Tennessee. So I'm an ambassador advocate for them. And this past Saturday night, you're a friend of my friend, Kate and Gordon was here. Yes. We put on a, a music event. We had 16 singer songwriters came from eight different States and we raised money for autism of Tennessee and raised awareness for autism. So it was great. It was so, uh, every one of the artists that were there Saturday night was so heart invested in what we yes. were doing and it made it so very, very special. Oh, um, wow. you know, we have one in 36 kids that are being diagnosed by the age of eight with autism. So because that number has jumped up so much, it's that much more important for us to spread awareness Absolutely. For to be able to help, um, uh, bust myths, you know, get rid of the myths and the stigma yeah. and the things, because one of the interesting things about autism, so down syndrome, which we have a lot of down syndrome friends and in our, my girl's music video, cause I'm a momager for my girls, they're music okay. artists uh, and they do other things, but their last song we put out breathe in, we had, it's all about coming together. It's about breathing in and remembering who God makes you, who, who you are, were born to be in this world, not what the world says about you, but what do you say about yourself? Right. And so about acceptance. And so uh, we had some, some of Carson's buddies that, that have Down syndrome with us. We had um, autistic kids. We had uh, variations of adults and, and young and teens. And, and so we just all came together to celebrate. So much fun to film. Oh, my and gosh. It was just amazing. So one of the interesting things about autism also is that like when you look when they're autism has no doesn't really have physical outside attributes that you can see. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, you know, you don't know. And, and so I think a lot of times it gets, there's just such a misconception about all of it because it's not a physical disability. A lot of times that you can see, right. you know, and um, 
So that the, all of that started me, you know, really when my middle daughter was born and diagnosed at two and a half. So that was 19 years ago, uh, set me on this journey that I had no idea I was going to be on. And I wouldn't change one second of it except for what happened to her. That's what I would change. Oh. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Our, you know what? I'm already, it, I'm already crying. And because I know it had, I know because, um, why, you know, all you want is to protect your babies, no matter at all costs. And, you know, now that I have grandkids, it's even, can you imagine it being even more so with the grandbabies? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know. I know. It's, well, it's and tough. You're in a different place as a grandmother. I mean, and I'll be there yes. in the next probably five years, yes. 10 years. No, and 50 years. 50 years. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you, Carson. <laughs> This is from the peanut gallery over here. So. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and um, so um, I, I started in 2017. You know, God said, God just said to me, well, I'll tell you the story about the books in a minute. But God said to me, you need to start a platform for authors. And I was like, well, I, what does that mean? I don't even know what to do. But I have a girlfriend in South Africa um, and we had been we've been on we've been on video together, you know, it, it, from a group we had met and we really clicked. We said, let's do a show together. So in, in 2017, we started Writer's Corner Live. Wow. And uh, so we've been doing the six years. We're so, oh my gosh, it's so six amazing. Six years. Yeah, six years. Gosh. And we're about to take it uh, on to a network on Roku, uh, uh, Amazon Fire, and Google TV called Bernard Streaming Services, which is so it's a God thing. And um, about a year and a half ago, I was getting some uh, articles, some music articles written up about my girl's music. And the owner of the PR company said, um, you know, hey, I, I looked at all your stuff and I really want to, I have a music podcast. I'd like an author podcast. Do you want to do this with me? And I was like, hmm, I don't know. But then God said, yes, you do. So yes, you do. <laughs> uh, it took me like six months for me to make the decision, right? And he just started, mm, kept pushing at me. So anyway, so I did that. And so it's called cover to cover. And January, I just went on to uh, Brushwood Media Network. So it's on syndicated radio now. And I have over 340,000 listeners globally. And I, I, I know, I know, Carolyn, I mean, you, you work and work and work and you do things for so long and you do you try to get your shares and your follows and everybody. Yes. And I, 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 I'm still doing this over the whole thing. I, I'm just still yes. over it. And it's every Saturday and Sunday at 12 to 12 30 PM Eastern time. And so what I'm doing is everything in the writing world. So I've got, you know, authors, and then I also have singer songwriters. And then actually uh, Friday, I think I'm interviewing somebody. She is a singer and a songwriter, but she also wrote a brand new Broadway musical that just came out in the beginning of this month. And um, so I, I want to feature that too, you know, because yes. there's different things in the writing world. So um, it, it's just, it's been so exciting. And uh, you know, do you know who Neil Donald Walsh is? He wrote Conversations name, with God. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I knew the name. <gasps> He's coming on. I, I got him really? booked for two weeks from now. Yeah, I, I'm so, oh my gosh. I know I'm over the moon. I'm just like, <gasps> I'll be going, I'm going to fangirl over him. So yes. Much. Oh my God. I love so, his books. So I, oh, man, I am overwhelmed for you because I cannot <laughs> believe like, I mean, not maybe not overwhelmed, but just no, I know what you're saying. overjoyed because I'm look what, thrilled. look what is happening in your life because I, you're doing, it's, it's, oh my gosh, that's it's, it's, beautiful. Oh, I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Look what you did. And you know what? I swear, I think we're kindred souls. I really do. Because that's me. I, I'm passionate about songwriting. I'm passionate about people and kids. Love it all. And that's why I wanted to bring them all together. And it's so, now, that's another God thing. God said, here, here's an author that also does a podcast that also is features. I'm like, what? Thank you. I and I, you know what? I've gotten to where I say now, Mary, and this is so, to me, this is funny because I really do. Now I get to where I look up and go, I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because there's, I'm like, okay, I couldn't have planned that. I could not have put that oh, together no, if I, no. there's no way. No, there's because, no. so the book series, I, it's, yeah. it's what you're talking about. So I had written poetry all throughout my life. I, me I, too. 
was a mom and I was an entrepreneur throughout my mom, my mom journey. And at 44, God looked at me. This is what I say. He looked at me and said, lady, you look bored. I'm giving you another baby. So I was like, what, what, what? First of all, is it legal at my age, right? Second of all, I, I'm going to be how old when this kid goes to college, you know? <laughs> and, and where are we going to put him? Because we were like in a 1700 square foot house with four yeah. of us. So there's wow. like, you know, we'll just, you know, like they did the old days. You just pull yeah. a drawer out, you know, stick him in the drawer, yeah. you know, you leave the drawer yeah. open, and, you know, they can't get away from, they can't roll off or anything. Yeah. So, so you just shut him in there and mm, you'll just pitch black. No, no, no. No, so, that would be too hard. <laughs> yeah, that would be too hard. So, you know, he, the, okay. he's really a very, um, well, he's a miracle child, period. Like God, Absolutely. I mean, I was told I couldn't have children. So wow. Seven years into my marriage, I, I got pregnant with uh, my oldest, and then I had four pregnancies and three babies. And um, so I, when I, oh, daddy's looking for you. I hear him calling you. Um, so when I got pregnant and I calmed down, right, because I was like, I was going to go back to school and go to work. And I was going to, I was going to go into early um, education with children and early diagnosis. That was what yeah. I wanted to do. And so um, after I got over the shock of all of it, um, I, <laughs> I was actually working at my daughter's middle school with um, I was doing a uh, play and rehearsal and musicals and, and like, after I got over the shock of being pregnant, the first thing I said was, oh, there is no way I'm missing Greece. Okay. Cause we were doing Greece that year. I was like, there's no yeah. way. Like I'm an eighties kid. So Greece is like, you know, yeah. we watched the seventies a million times, right? In the eighties a million times. So I'm 44 years old, pregnant and, 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 and coming up with dance steps to dance. So I think that's why he's hyper. Cause I was moving so much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, shum a ding dog. I mean, that, that music's fast, right? So, it um, is. yeah. I like that. Shum a <laughs> ding dong. I can't remember where it goes. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. So you're jumping around there. <laughs> so it's all my fault, right? Oh, God. Hold on a second, Marie. Mary, sorry. I, I'm not. I have Marie, my friend Marie McConaughey is here. Marie, Marie. my beautiful friend. Um, Marie is also an author. Okay. She's working on a children's book. So see how everything is connected. Um, she said, sorry, I'm late, but I lost count of time um, taking care of the critters. I know, Marie, I'm just so glad you're here. Beautiful. And whoever else is here. Hello. 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 Uh, say hi. Please say hi. Uh, we're so glad you're here. Oh my gosh. This is this is such an exciting conversation already because um, Mary Elizabeth Jackson, Mary, I'm just going to call her Mary. Yeah, just call um, me MJ. Incredible things, like incredible things. And, and God is just working in her life. And I mean that I see it. I just saw it. Uh, Marie said books. Yes, she has books. She's yes. written books, not just a book, but books as in plural. Nice. Okay. So go ahead, continue with your story because I'm I've got a lot of questions for you now. The more you talk, I'm like, oh, I want to ask. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, if you want me to shut up, I will. No, no, that's like telling me to shut up. It's impossible. <laughs> it's not going to work, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many too many things to come out. Go ahead, know, right? <laughs> the brain never shuts up. It so, does not. It does I know not. it's crazy. So yeah, um, during my pregnancy, at the end, he stopped growing, and so right. they have prepared us for quite a bit of challenges. And, um, after he was born and he, he did very well. I mean, he just was a miracle basically. Um, my recovery was really, um, challenging, but in a way uh, I'm going to just say it like that because he's sitting here. So I don't want to go into detail. But but I understand anyway, that. I was um, just going to um, uh, <laughs> when he was about five months old, I was nursing and I was sitting there and there's just this, this almost surreal space of gratitude for I'm alive. He's alive. We're here. And my first children's book downloaded like that. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Okay. That's so cute. Oh, let me write it down. You know? And I was like, okay, I'll save it for him one day. I'm going to give it to him when he's older. 
and and I just put it away. But then all of a sudden, I began writing at that time, but everything came out like rhyming. And I was like, what is wrong? Yeah. What's, happening? What's happening to me? Like, I can't even like write without it rhyming. That's and how I am. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it was really, it was kind yeah. of, it was interesting. So um, I sat on it for about two years because in that process, we moved into a, a home larger enough to fit the five of us, uh, you know, in, in a good way. Six of us? No. Shh. Oh, the dog. Yes. Okay. Then the dog. Don't the dog yeah. And don't forget the dog. And so um, I guess for about two years, I kept feeling this like nudging on my shoulder. Like you need to do something with that manuscript. You need to do something with it. But I was like, I don't know what to do. And I don't know who to talk to. And I'm nobody. I'm just a mom who even cares what I, who even cares what I think and feel. Yeah, you know, right? this, is, this is before you had written anything. You're sitting there and you all of a sudden got all this information like, oh my gosh, wow, that would be such a cute story. Or that was such a great idea. You had never written anything, am I correct? You had never done anything besides, not that being a mom is not the most important thing right. ever. But poetry is all I'd ever written. Yes, okay, I got you, I got you. I, okay. I never, I never sat down and tried to write a book or a story to be published, ever. Okay, beautiful. No, okay. I, was green, I was so green about the whole thing that I was naive enough to think that because somebody was published and he was academically published that he would know anything about a children's publisher because they're yeah. all their own different planets. Okay. Just like music genres, you know, they're all their own kind of hybrids in, in their own world, you know? Right. So um, I, I went and talked to this person and they said, well, I want to introduce you to somebody. And um, I think you guys have really hit it off. And so, Hold on. excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Me. I'm sorry. Brett, can you close that door, please? Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> My husband had his phone and I could hear it a little bit. So I'll go, go ahead. Oh, go this ahead. is live. This is what happens when it's live. I love it. I love live. Yeah. I wouldn't do it any other way. I know. Because right? really you never know what goofy things I'm going to come up with. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Right. Okay. So, um, the, um, so I, he introduced me to Thornton Klein and he, I, I have to introduce you to Thornton Klein because he's amazing. I, I, I looked him up. Okay. Yeah. So Thornton is like, Okay. He was another God sent person in my life. Yeah. Like he came in and was like this ship that helped me move through to this next part of my life. It really was just amazing. And he still is. And he's a great mentor and he's taught me a really great work ethic because he's like the ever ready bunny rabbit. He's in his sixties and he, he's the hardest working person. I know one of the hardest working people I know he never stops. And, um, he's just so, but he's so filled with God and he, he's such a good Christian person. He wow. never says a bad thing about anyone. And, and, and he's always encouraging and he's actually taught both of my kids, uh, two of my kids, he's taught instruments. Like he's Carson's piano player. Uh, okay. I'm reading what Marie's saying. Yeah. Cool. Um, Oh, she had her My husband is listening to the show on his phone in the other room. And he was, okay. you know, yeah. what is it? I'm, let me read it real quick. I'm sorry, sweetie. Lord, she sounds like me. That's how I get all my words and ideas. It's like a voice telling me. Yeah, that's what I get with my songs too. It's it's a God thing. It's got to be a God thing. Oh, I mean, it's a divine channel. channel. Yeah, it's it is. Channel. It is. It's so yeah. amazing, isn't it? Um, Ideas is like a voice telling me what to Marie, look at that. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. My last child at 41. Oh my gosh. So we're in the forties club. For home. real. I'm not in the forties club. I'm it's, a small club. club. it's a very small club. There's like two of us. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so, I so wait, a minute, wait a minute, go back to Thornton Klein because I want to make sure that I'm right. I um, saw the association with you and Thornton Klein as far uh -huh. as the books go. And then I saw on someone's, and I don't, I honestly don't remember who I've got so many people and I'm so blessed for that, a singer songwriter. And it said Thornton Klein. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's weird. Cause that's not a common name. Uh -uh. And I thought it's, is it the same Thornton Klein? Does he represent artists? Yes, he does. Like my girls are on his label. So yes. And actually you'll have to look up Chris Chitsy, if you don't know who Chris Chitsy is, okay, you have to look right. him up. C H I T S E Y. Chris, I'm giving you a plug if he's out there. Yeah. Um, he's from Texas too, and nice. um, he is climbing the charts. He's up there with where Garth Brooks is. He is up there. What? Uh, oh yeah, you'll Lord, you'll I'm have to find, I, everything was so crazy today. I didn't even have my right tablet here. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna write it down. Okay. Yes. So okay, spell, it, um, spell it for me one more time, sweetheart, please. Okay. So it's Chris and then it's C-H-I-T-S-E-Y. So Chris Chitsey. 
C H I T S E Y. Yes. You'll have to look him up. He's an okay. awesome. He owns a he owns a he owns a town in Texas, actually. It's like a ghost town or something. Like tourists can come to. It's really cool. You have to look him what? up. Yeah. So he owns um, a town? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Isn't that cool? <laughs> I have never been anyone. That is so cool. I know, right? Okay. Um, now, I've never met anyone that owns a town. Now, come I on, know. that's funny. And that's um, really amazing. I'm, wait well, a minute. You own the town. <laughs> I, yeah. Like, so evidently his dad liked ghost towns or whatever. His dad's passed away. And so he and his sister, she's in real estate, bought the town. And now like you can go stay there and like they have a saloon and gunfights and everything. Wow. Okay. I, I want to go. I know. Me too. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. We just got a travel trailer. We're going. We're going. I know, that's right. We're 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 our Christians. I don't know where it is, but I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, go ahead. I need to ask him. I can't remember it either. I'm sorry. Shamelessly okay, so, plugging it, but so yeah. So, so we yeah. I met Thornton in 2015, and we we sat down, and he looked at everything I'd written at the time, and he goes, "Oh, I really like this one. Can I write 10 songs for the book?" And I went. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Right. Because I mean, when does that happen for you? Right. He, it, he's doesn't. Already, uh, it doesn't happen to people, right? It doesn't happen. Now you're a mom. <laughs> you Are you kidding me? No, that is incredible. I mean, it's yes. Yes. Marie, you need to meet him. I, I, oh, it's wow. so... I need to meet him. My newest. Oh my God. Working on, let me put it up on the screen. So anybody that's tuning in can read it. Oh, oh my gosh. that's so cool, Marie. I love it. Oh my gosh, about ghosts. Oh, come on. I didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> Marie. I know. We got we to introduce her to Thornton and Chris. Yes, yes. So, um, so Chris, I mean, so Thornton, um, he <laughs> within a week, he wrote these 10 precious angelic songs. He came to my house. I had OT therapy and speech therapy in my house working with Carson. Um, he comes into my living room, sits down at the keyboard, and I, I began to cry because every song was absolutely perfect. Yes. For the book. It was just perfect. And then from there, my girls ended up going into the recording studio with him and they recorded. So on Amazon and wherever the music is, you can buy the music to go with the first book. And my girls recorded the music. So, I mean, just right. Mama's heart it's like so full. I would have been bawling. Oh, I, I know. Well, when I listen to the song sometimes, yes, I do. And um, so we got a contract in 2016. We're published February 9th. You never forget 2017. Like you, you just always never forget your first publishing. And and in three months after the book came out, we got the Gold Maxi Literary Award uh, for the book, which was another what? And um. It, it's so cool because, uh, and I don't have one on this book, but um, in on the logo, it's got a child in a wheelchair because the family who created this award, their child had some sort of disability and they never lived past the age of eight, but couldn't talk or speak. And, and so this is about, you know, well, you, you get what I'm saying. Yes. It's, it's yes. just about promoting reading and literacy. Yes. So it's a really special honor being an advocate to get that. Um, and Thornton, so I wrote the first book myself. Thornton helped me write the next two. And so my my author journey, which is also his author journey, has not been very easy. So we, we left that publisher two years later. And then, um, then we... We had a publisher that actually died two years ago on Father's Day, oh. uh, suddenly. And so then we have a new publisher uh, a little back over a year ago we signed. And so now it we have renamed the series, the Inspired Kids series. Um, and part of the reason is the, the premise behind these books is to uh, help children to accept who they are, where they are, that they're really cool. And they're awesome. Just the way they are. However, they come into the world, it doesn't matter. And in all three books are, I am pages. And it's about those powerful words. Yes. I am amazing. I am love. I am joy and teaching them that language early, early on in life. And, um, so I'm so passionate about this series and I, I wish it was like every kid across the globe had this, these books. Yes. So, you know, if you're a distrib distribution, <laughs> person you have a connection please these are such oh, good God. positive they're good and positive and we need yes. good and positive and we do um, especially for our kids because 
Yes. Oh my God. I feel the same way. I honestly do. I mean, because they are under so much pressure now and they they're under so much pressure when there's nothing else involved in the equation, but mm -hmm. when they, when there's something else added to their equation and their particular unique situation, right. Then it it's even tougher and it, my heart goes out, but man, to, to do it, to, to have something like that. Oh gosh, you're like an angel. You really oh. are. No. Honestly, because I want a copy of them right now, as soon as you can. I don't know how how I get them. I'm gonna throw them to you. Okay. I want to read it to my grandson. He just started oh. learning how to read. Now he is um nice. he has been diagnosed as ADHD. Okay. But I think there's something else. I'm not sure. You know, um, he's a my my favorite person on the whole earth. Except oh, of course. He's seven. He's seven. Okay. Right. So sometimes, you know, Carson has ADHD also, and it, there's a very closely linked with, um, with autism. And okay. I don't want to, um, I don't want to, Marie has put another, uh, oh, she yeah. said something else. We want to make sure we honor what she yes, said. Thank you. My dad put it on my head a couple of months ago from above. He's been gone since January of 83, about 5 AM. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes you think, okay, who, how did I get that? Where did it come from? Right. Wow. That's beautiful, Marie. And it I'm is sorry. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know. I think that's when, you know what? I think that, no, no, my dad died at um, 92, 92. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. And we, we have actually had questions about that myself and my daughter. Um, I brought it up again because there was a couple of things, but she said, no, the doctor said that he's too smart and outgoing for that to be the issue because I've noticed a few things you know, that he does. And he's been doing since he was a baby, like loud noises. He don't, he doesn't like them at all. He pulls on his ears a lot. Well, that's you know? sensory. And so the, okay. So I'm reading a book right now, ADHD and boys. And what I was telling his OT therapist yesterday was, I was like, it's really interesting because a lot of the symptoms that appear to be autism are now is according to this gentleman, they're ADHD symptoms. And I know the lines are very murky. Right. And I know diagnosis can be challenging, um, but uh, you know, he, your, your grandson definitely has sensory issues and there, and a lot of these are very easy to um, be able to deal with and handle, you know, and it's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm answering some questions for somebody for a magazine article about, you know, what do you have to do or what have you had to do uh, in your home and then out, places to adjust yes. and whatever. And so there's, there's been a lot of adjustments and you finally just kind of get used to it. You know what you have to do. And, you know, it's like, okay. And the, I mean, he's 10, but still right. the toilet flushing and those hair dryers, hand dryers in the public bathrooms is still way too loud. And so we just don't do it. So you either bring paper towels or you use your shirt, wipe, dry your hands off. <laughs> you know what? That's interesting that you said that because um, my grandson's the exact same way. Mm -hmm. The bathrooms in the, the toilets are too loud. And I, and I, you know, we've been bringing it up. I've been bringing it up, you know, uh -huh. and I know that's not, you know, is that you think, and I know you're not a doctor, but that is interesting. And I, you know, I just want to him to be successful and happy in whatever he's trying to do. And if whatever right. that takes, you know, I just keep reassuring him. I mean, he's doing great. He's trying his best. School is a little difficult for him, but for him to focus, you know, and, right. um, but he's, he's such a great guy. Just like you're, I mean, they're just great. Oh, well, and, their brains are brilliant. They're just brilliant. Yes. One of the things that you could do for him is just anytime that, um, anytime you go that, you know, you're going to be out and go to, just, just have, you know, head, head noise canceling headphones, just put them on him and go to the bathroom. And okay. he should be, that, that'll really help. We we've used those a lot in my son's life. Like when he was younger, uh, and my middle daughter was playing volleyball. I used to have to watch outside the door of the gym through the window because I couldn't go in with him, even, oh. even with the, uh, um, okay. Yes. Roger. I'm reading comments. Hi. Yes, absolutely. Roger. Yes. Amen. That's on the screen. Uh, thank yeah. you for sharing that, Roger. Um, I have ADHD. I get frustrated really quick. The only way I cool down is by listening to music. Thank you for that, honestly, because I am trying to learn different ways to help him deal with it. And I, you know, like I said, I, and you know, it breaks my heart. I just want him to, you know, I just want to be able to help him and make him sure. work through it, you know, and I want to catch it while he's young because I know, um, you know, a lot of times people can go their whole lives and not get the help that they need dealing with right. issues like that, you know? Right. Um, so I will absolutely get the headphones, even just the little kid ear earphones you think would be good. Just yeah, yeah. And you can just get them off Amazon, you know, um, okay. 
And, you know, or you can get them where like he has a pair that doesn't have the plug, you know, that you would plug into something like so you the wireless thing. Yeah. His are wireless. Okay. Um, and he doesn't need them now as much. Like if we were going to go to a hockey game or something yeah. or a game like that, he would definitely need them because we experienced that recently. Uh, now, last night we were watching his, his older sister is in grad school and she had a clarinet concert last night. So it was a whole symphony, you know, orchestra or whatever. And Beautiful. he was able to sit through that. So good. sometimes some things he's, he's pretty good right. with. Okay. So go do you put music on like on a phone or is it just the headphones? I mean, you put music no, just, on. Just, just the headphones. You could do either okay. or for a child. You know, I did buy a, a pair of the ear, you know, the ear, you know, like for loud noises. I bought some of those, right. but yeah, I haven't used them yet um, because I thought we were going to, he was going to be coming to one of our shows for just about an hour. Let's see what we have here. They say music is a healer of most things. So when I'm most with my grandchildren, I definitely mo music playing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, and I, like I said, I'm still at the point where I'm, you know, we're trying to, you know, kind of figure this out just like you were, I'm sure. Um, yeah. And I'm just reading Maria's comment about the, what the publisher said. Maria, just keep, honey, just keep going. Don't, don't stop. You can self publish. You don't know, ever. Well, but yeah. the other thing is look at, if you go look at all the kids animations and the kids movies and like, um, yes. okay, you have talking animals. Like I'm um, Thornton and I just signed a contract for, um, I have a habit. Of Sorry, Marie. I didn't see that. Hang on. Let me put that on the screen. Okay. Um, I had a public, let me read that real quick, just in case I had a publisher tell me that if I have talking animals in my book to forget, to forget it because nobody wants a talking house. I don't agree with that. I think kids love that. My, my grandson loves it. And of course my books are shown about my tea or about my teacup Chihuahua. And of course he talks. So I told her goodbye and hung up all of the publishers have. Well, I disagree with that. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing any of these. I did miss that one. I'm sorry, Marie. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Mary. Yeah, no, no. I, I was just going to say that, you know, when you look at all the kids' animations and stuff, uh, you know, you, there's a lot of that where um, I think sometimes it's more successful to tell a story with different animals. Yes. Because then, because everybody can see themselves in those animals and it, it, and it transcends color and age and gender and religion and you know what I mean? So yes. everybody can see themselves in there and there's no judgment. You know, right. and so I, I think it's really great to use animals. I love I think, that. Yeah. You know, um, Thornton and I have signed a contract for a, uh, a 10 book um, young reader, middle grade reader. And I think what we're going to be doing is using like, you know, fairies and dragons and you yes, know, yes. Yes. characters so that we can uh, bypass all of that to make sure everyone's included. You know, oh so I, I love that idea. I love that idea. So Roger said, I have a habit of biting my fingernails. I don't know if that's part of it. You know, I'm not sure. I know a lot of every one of us out there has something, you know what I mean? I think that mm -hmm. um, that we deal with. I talk about it every single week, you know, anxiety. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a lot of anxiety. I try to control it. Um, well, but yeah. It's hard in the way the yeah. world is now, you know, so Roger, yes. I'm not sure if that's part of it or not. Um, it could be a calming. If that calms you down, I don't know if it does, yeah. but there are different ways uh, for us to self-soothe, okay, and self-regulate our emotions. I know for my middle daughter, uh, singing very quietly was one of hers. So when she was in elementary and middle school, I had to go and address that with her teachers because they thought she was interrupting and being disrespectful. And I was like, no, you don't understand. She has anxiety and this is a self soother for her. This yes. is calming for her. Um, and, and my little guy, you know, his is talking. Like he just, like, I, I don't, you know, I used to never put the radio on when he was little because all he would do is talk. Um, okay. that was wow. for him and walking. Really? Pace, yeah. And pacing, pacing, pacing is, was one of his, you know, things. And, um, so I, I don't know, if, but Roger, that could be, I know people bite their nails cause they're nervous, Yes, uh, but I think it's a calming thing for a lot of people. So I'd be yeah. interested to know, does it calm him? Cause then, then he, what he's doing is it's so interesting, you know, all of these things are coming into the forefront of conversations now and awareness. And I love it. And, and on the other end of that, Roger, if that's something that calms you down, then you are actually self-care. You yes. are actually doing something to take care of yourself. And that's really, really important. And I think a lot of times when people have ADHD, there is a lot of anxiety and their depression that kind of, that sprinkled yes. in 
goes with it. Because your brain, you know, one of the things about autism and all of this is that the brain isn't it is processing differently than maybe your neurotypical person, right? Where their brain is a little calmer. So you yes. could be somebody who you eat a certain food and what it does is it sends off a, you know, like a reaction of inflammation that then aggravates your system and your brain and it makes everything fire faster, you know? So, right. so kids, people are very sensitive. Those who are dealing with all this, um, they're very sensitive to foods and things they drink and the environment and smell, right. all of that. I mean, we're sensory beings, period, right? Absolutely. So taking the world through nine different ways. I don't have them all memorized. I think there's even 12 or 13. But because we're all sensory beings, we're going to experience things through our senses, right? So where a lot of the focus, I think, has been for people with sensory issues that are seen or diagnosed since all of us uh, experience sensory, then we should be, we can benefit from those tools that are self-soothing and calming down. And yes. you know, we have a box and, you know, we've got the fidgets and the squeezies and the, you know, all those things that are very helpful um, to, to my kids. And actually even sometimes I find myself going, Oh, you know, I, I've done a lot of things with him growing up and my, and the neighbor kids, you know, we would just go outside and let's just do, all right, let's just take, um, uh, we're going to take shaving cream and we're going to, you know, we're going to spray it on the pan and we're going to, you know, we're going to draw our letter letters in there, or we're going to take baking soda and water. We're going to put food color in it. We're going to, we're going to watch it explode. And I mean, it's all that just taking in those experiences right. in a very safe, safe way, which is really important now with my girls. And then I've done it with my son too. What I did with my, my oldest has had a lot of sensory issues and I don't know if she's on tonight or not, but a lot of sensory in her life. And it was missed. It was not diagnosed properly when she was born. And this is 2000. And I went in and said, um, yes, Marie, that's a great way to calm. And I, Roger's always in a hurry too. I know, yes. I know. So anything deep breathing, deep breathing and visualizing yourself calming down is really important. I know I do a lot of breathing with Carson this morning. I was doing Tai Chi and he was watching, he was supposed to be doing it with, he was not, I, <laughs> so I, I was doing it for both of us, you know, uh, but um, the, um, when, you were so my oldest was so she had texture sensitivity so about two and a half i guess I, I, someone else i know told me that they have he said they said i'm not going to say who isn't that weird and i go well no maybe not you know it, it no. maybe it's associated with the adhd too right or do I, don't, you I don't know it what it is it's associated with an overstimulated nervous system or sensory system of the body so okay. i could eat I could eat a food and be okay. And you might eat a food and gag and you can't stand the texture of something right. where you might need a small hug to feel comforted by someone. Maybe I need a lot of pressure to actually take in that input to tell me yes. I'm being hugged. I'm okay. I can calm down. So it's very interesting. The input that our body receives and what it requires. Yes. Now, my second daughter was very orally fixated, and that's a word used with children who are always putting things in their mouth, okay, right. doorknobs, and they're chewing on things, and they're chewing on their clothes, or their, or their fingers, or their, um, you know, their, uh, you know how there are children who, they, they'll lick trash cans, and, yes, yes, okay, uh, yeah, like my middle daughter did, yeah, we tease her about it, but anyway, so that, that's, that's because that's the way they're receiving input in into their environment to tell them what's going on. It's really fascinating. I've had to do so much research in my kid's life and just trying to understand like what is happening. Like for my, my little guy, like he would always take things and run them real close by his face. Like, and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't understand what, you know, and it's because that's the way he was taking sensory input in. Uh, for some reason, he th there was a satisfaction of it coming really close and that sensory coming into him. So he understands it. Like, I don't have to do that for myself, for my proprioception, but he did. Like when he was a little teeny, teeny baby, I, I don't even know if he was one, he would spin his, his spoon on the floor in the kitchen and then he'd go down with his head and he'd put his head down right on it. And then he'd come back wow. up. 
And at that point, I didn't know what was going on. I yeah. thought, that's kind of interesting until I learned later. But back to what I did with my kids, wow. um, I, I, um, with Elizabeth, with my oldest, because she was so painfully shy and just, she couldn't talk to anybody. And, oh. and, and then what happened with Lily, I used, um, you know, I, I felt like arts, academics, and athletics were a great way to balance a child. Right. Um, and even if your kid isn't really athletic, you got to get them moving somehow. Yes. You know, they've yes. got to physically move. But, um, so I used arts, you know, I would tell them, when they were going through something, I want you to write it out, dance it out, sing it out, play an instrument, go outside and run. I don't care. Do something physically creative or active because we all have to have a channel to funnel. Our, yes. Whatever's happening for us. We're, we're creative beings. We were designed to be creative beings on this planet. So we have to have a place for that to go. And if we give that to our children and teach them these tools, my girls are young adults now and they still use this stuff. And, right, and right. And they talk about it sometimes on interviews, how music and arts played, has played such a significant role in their life of allowing them to express and process things they needed to process. So, you know, we never had punching holes in the walls and slamming doors. And right. I hate you. I mean, we had, we, you, you have those explosions and all the emotional, but I said, use this, use this channel, you know, it's cause it, it's, it's, it, it allow there's no judgment there and those yeah. artistic creative ways to be right. So you can scream, you can yell, you can write, you can scribble on a paper, you can rip it up, you can throw it away, you can stomp on it, you can burn it, you can you can do whatever you need to do to get it out and still be in a very, very, very safe space, you know. And so I mean, Lily, my middle daughter, so she started drawing at like 18, 18 months, and like she'd be drawing details. I'm like, well, she's busy. Good. Right. Yeah. And at that time I had a jewelry business. So she'd sit there at the table and she just put beads on the wire just, just forever. Yeah. Good. She's busy. It's, it's healthy, yeah. right? It's good. She's being creative. But through the trauma she went through, art became one of her outlets to process what she went through. And it was That's so hard. significant. Wow. That process. I think it's one of the things that saved her probably. And so I, I know that's another thing I'm passionate about is music and arts for kids. I've watched a child with Tourette's sing and have no symptoms at all. None. Oh my God. So, so wow. powerful, right? Because we are so intended to be these things in our lives, even if we don't do it professionally, we need it on the side, you know, as a hobby or to be able to journal or whatever it is that we need, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's been very powerful in my life, Carolyn. I mean, what I have witnessed with my own kids, you know, my two of my kids were nonverbal or almost completely nonverbal and the early diagnosis and the interventions and therapies. I mean, my middle daughter is second year of college and she is in school for animation and filmmaking, right? Oh and she's, written, she's written a 140,000 word novel. I mean, this is a child who reading comprehension, she couldn't do it. Like she yeah. didn't talk until she was, I think she was four or, or older. Yeah. I mean, she oh would, I mean, she, she did what's called cluttering. So she, you couldn't understand. She sounded like a little fairy and, you know, so my kids have been through some stuff and, they and have. you know, what they, they have. Yeah. Well, you know, first of all, I want to say one mom to another mom. Mm -hmm. Your kids have been through some stuff and I'm not even going to do it because I already know I'm going to get emotional. I know I am too. So let's keep yeah. it light. So, so I'm just saying uh, you are strong. You are, you uh, are valuable. You matter. You are making a huge difference in the world uh, and the things that you've done with your kids. Lady, oh, man, I'm, I am so, I want to tell you, I am so proud of you for what you've done because I feel you. I literally feel you. Like, I swear, I feel like I'm just hugging you right now. Like this is mm. a big, I'm and I want you to, honestly, I want you to know that I see you. Okay. And I know, and you are doing a great job. You keep doing you, you keep doing what you're doing because it's hard, but you're going to do it. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep getting, waking up each day, doing it, keep doing it because that's what you do. Um, yeah. And you know, you're already helping 
God, you have no idea, Mary. You just already helped me so much because oh. I have that. Oh God, for real. I have that, that question in my heart, you know, does he need more? What can I do to help him? So I can pass it on to my daughter. For example, you know, for example, the other person I'm talking about, okay, that explains, I'm looking in my brain, you know, looking at my, going back and going, that explains why that was done. That explains why that was said. It was more of a, of a sensory thing, you know, and it, it makes sense now. And, and it's going to help me be able to, um, deal with those situations the way I should have when I didn't know what it was. I had no idea, you know, and, right. um, you know, like my grandson, bless his heart. He's got a little, a little scribble tablet. You know, one of those, you can just push the button and the stuff disappears and he draws circles yeah. after circles after circle. He loves it. And he, you know, and you know, it's a, and then we play the stuffed animal game. I'm the only one that does that. And our animals talk and, you know, and I'm trying anything I can to help him, you know, with whatever he's dealing right. with, because I know it. And um, I was telling him the other night, I'm trying to make sense of it myself so I can kind of explain it to him because he wanted to play. He was watching YouTube a lot and his mom told him no more YouTube. And I right. said, well, I tell you what, I said, you got to be careful because did you know, and this is what I told him and I hope I didn't say it wrong. I said, did you know that when you're you're going so fast, when you're watching these shows and click, because he's always click, 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 you know, mm -hmm. I said, do you know that it is confusing your brain? Did you know your brain already gets confused? Look at grandma's brain. And he just laughs when I say that. <laughs> I said, but if you're going so fast, it makes your brain confused. I said, right. so you have to take a moment, take a breath, right? Watch a little bit of that and see what it is. You know, we only watch him, let him watch with us there, of course, and it's got to be appropriate. But, you know, little things like that. I'm trying to learn techniques to help him stop. And, you know, I, and I just, you know, kept reminding him. I was just with him a few days ago. And I was like, did you know that you are an incredible person and that you are so loved and that you are doing a great job? And grandma is so proud of you and everybody loves you, you know, because I know there are, are some issues and I don't know if it's just the ADHD, you know what I mean? And he's yeah. taking his medicine. So I say, I got up in the morning because I spent like three, three nights in a row with him, which he loves that because I always sleep in his bed with him. And I get up to take all my medicine. And then I say, okay, we got to take our medicine. Come on. It's going to help our brain. And he starts yeah. laughing. I said, it's going to help us focus. And I don't even take medicine for that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing the that. right thing. I mean, if I'm always open because I want to make sure I'm not doing the wrong thing. I'm just trying to be supportive and, you know, and, Cause it's hard. I mean, I can't imagine the stuff he goes through. And I, I always talk to him about it at school is, is everybody nice to you? And he says, yes, because I would never want to know that, you know, cause kids, kids can be cruel, you know? Yes. But um, it's also important. It's also important for y'all in, in your home life to um, help him to accept who he is so that if he ever has to stand up for himself, he can and it, and him not, and he doesn't feel guilty or like he's less than, you know what right. I mean? So I know for my son, like in our house, um, the conversations, we have a lot of open conversations and I know the generation that my girls are in the twenties and 23s and 25s and that kind of stuff. These kids are all very openly talking about everything, anxiety, right. depression, autism. They're, they're yeah. talking about these things, ADHD, because their friends talk to me. And so I hear these conversations and I'm so grateful that they're openly like accepting of who they are and each yes. other. And I know in our household, we do. And, um, you know, in our house, my middle daughter calls it the tism. I had a touch of the tism. So we, we, we laugh about that because then you know, like we all have a stigmatism. So we have that kind of tism too. So, you know, we, we laugh about that. <laughs> you have to laugh about it. You have to laugh about it. And I love it. And you know what? And that's the same. I, that is so true also with depression and anxiety mm -hmm. And just those by themselves, it is becoming to where people, because years ago, nobody talked about it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine now. And that's why I, I, every week I talk about that because I suffer from anxiety and depression and it's hard to believe because like Carol and she's so upbeat, but I know, you know what I mean? I know. And I'm, I know I'm probably ADHD at the very minimum because I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my friend told me the other day when I was hugging her, she goes, you are so ADHD. And I go, oh yeah, that might explain it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, I love that the fact that it's, it's people are not as afraid to talk about these things, even those, those issues that didn't even, maybe they did exist back when I was a kid, but maybe we didn't know what it was, you know, I don't know, but it's like all of these new things, these new diagnoses are just coming out of nowhere. It's like, all of a sudden you heard about autism. You never heard of it before. You know what I mean? ADHD back oh. 
you know what's interesting, Carolyn? When I had, I had to do some research not too long ago. Um, okay, I'm reading what Marie we just. Oh, and Roger said he hates being home and makes him feel mad. I have to go go somewhere like shopping. Oh, Roger, I'm sorry to hear that. But if shopping or calms you down so you can get out, yeah. I think that's why I buy so many things that I don't really need. <laughs> right. Calm myself down, yeah. So I got Richie to input in my writing. He was always tearing at paper. I just keep wiping because he couldn't see. Wow. That's amazing. You know, their, their brains are so fascinating the way that a child sees things and what appears wow. to be like, it's sort of like we have all these little beings coming in and, and it's almost like they don't fit on this planet the way that things have always been. Right. Yeah. And, and, and so I know he says things to me sometimes and I'm like, what? And it's because it makes sense to him, but yeah. it doesn't make sense to the rest of us or some of us because we've been doing things the same way for so long. Like we were, you know, and, and it's like, definitely, I think schools have got to expand and they can't yes, do, the they do. anymore. You know, you just can't. They need that. Yeah, you're right. It's almost like they have to, I like that. They need to think out the box and teach these kids because they, they have to, they're going to learn differently. They absorb the stuff differently. You're right. I see that with him. You know what I mean? Because we, we have two great grandkids. They're amazing. They're both the exact same age. Um, you know what I mean? But they're completely different kid, completely different. And, you know, you just see them. You're just like, okay, well, they're the exact same age, exact same. But it's like, wow, okay, he's, you know, it's it's hard. Let me see. Um, I'll get Richie. Okay, we already read that one. So I started having him to think of inputs into my writing. See, Marie, that's beautiful. I love that you're doing that. Mm -hmm. I yes. love that you're doing that. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, their brains are, uh, let's say, unadulterated. Why don't we say that? You know what I mean? Because they yes. are so, so... Um, well, they're still so innocent. Yes. And, and so they just don't know. <clears throat> they haven't hopefully been told, no, 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 that's wrong. That's bad, whatever. Yes. Um, I do know in my research, I was going to go back to this with statistics. In the 80s, it was like one in 100,000 kids was diagnosed with, with autism. Now it's one in 36. And it's <clears throat> it's mostly, wow. babies. I, isn't that insane? It's insane. That's why well, I think. Is it, the, is it the preservatives in the food? That's what I keep hearing. The coloring in the food, or do they know? No, I. There's okay, so hold on. I'm so sorry, Mary. I've got to acknowledge my yep. beautiful. Oh, my friend Olga is here. Hi. Olga. Oh, Mary, if you could meet her, you would. She is Marie too. Both of them are the most beautiful people. Olga, I'm so glad you're okay. I was just thinking about you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's very, very interesting, isn't it? Really, for real. This is, I have been looking forward to this show. I look forward to every show. Let's see what Roger said. Same here. I'm always buying stuff that I don't need either. Huh. Questions. So when I get, I yell at people and get in arguments. That is interesting, Roger, because the other person I was referring to has kind of had a tendency to do the same thing. So may, who knows? I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I, don't, that I don't know because I'm not an expert uh, well, and I haven't researched into that. So Roger, I think what would be a good idea, th this is what I always tell people because I've had to do this for myself. Yeah. Is to re research. Yeah. Read, look it up. Look into things because it empowers you to go from a place of being a victim to a victor in your life. It may oh, not man. solve everything. It may not fix everything. It may not, um, you know, like, Put the band-aid on everything but what it does is it it allows you to have more power knowledge is power right yes so i do know in my life going through with raising my kids and everything they have dealt with i have i have literally had to go do that for myself so that i didn't walk around feeling sorry for myself right i have these kids who have issues what did i do mm -hmm. wrong life is so hard i hate my life blah 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 no life is a gift it is. Amen to that. Also, the, we have a choice how we look at our life. Because listen, I, I've been through some crap that I could be sitting in a closet sucking my thumb right now, right? Yeah. No, no. We have one life to live and I want it to be the best life that it can be. And I want to do the best job that I can. And yeah. I, want to, I want to be in the state of gratitude for it. Even if sometimes we don't understand the, you, if you have a child who's been abused at the hands of someone else, that is one of the hardest things to ever come back from and to understand and to be in a place where um, you can go forward. 
okay, when your child is broken and injured and you know, because you've been told, and then I've lived through the experience of it, the damage that's done, okay? That's something that stays with them their whole life. And how do you not stay in a place of bitterness and hate, right? Very difficult. Very, very difficult. So that's where, um, um, yes, go to church. Absolutely. <laughs> and we have to, so the thing that also, I'm going to just say something to what Roger's saying. We, we have to, we have to, it's important for us. I feel like I'm on a soapbox right now. I'm sorry. No, to, I do it too. Compassion and love and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a path we were intended to live in this life. Yes. And it's really hard for us to sometimes, I, I know. God it's, bless you. Yes, God bless you. And it's really hard. And I'm not saying I'm perfect at any of this because I have been on my knees. I have had lots of, I have not wanted to get up. I have been in the barrel and of just the, the abyss of what's happening. And, but I do know that like after what happened with um, my daughter, and then my son came in the middle of all that. Like I, I stood on, I, Hey, could Caden's here. Hi, Hi. Kaden. Mwah, mwah. So, um, I mean, I was I on trial for my daughter, defending her pregnant with him. I was on bed rest because they, they didn't want him to come. Right. And I'm sitting there. If you can imagine, I'm trying to defend my child, one child. I'm trying to make sure this child is safe and doesn't like, like it doesn't, in my pregnancy being there, but I had to be there. And if you can imagine being in that space, like I've never met somebody who had to be in a space like that before ever. Mm -hmm. And to ever think that I would ever be in a space like that. Right. It's still surreal sometimes when I think about it, but coming from there. Um, so knowing that I had to surrender to, to God during mm -hmm. those moments. And then when everything was handed down and I lost faith in everything, I lost faith in man. I lost faith in humans. I lost man and human, same thing. God, I lost faith in everything. I mean, I, I, I did. I, I didn't know if I would ever, ever come back from all of that. I, when justice was not served for her and the other families. Uh -oh. It justice is not always on the side of the person who needs to be protected, no. you know, but when my son was born and through the, what I went through with him and, and then going into the space of complete surrender and gratitude, my, my faith is now stronger than it's ever been in my life. Right. And my outlook on life was changed forever. And so embracing every day is just, one of the most important things that we can do ever is to embrace it. And even in the dark ugly of ness of life, because it's yes, there. It we sure is. Have to find the light. And sometimes walking through that darkness, we've got to create a bubble around us. That's just sunshine and happiness. Right. Even if that means we're oblivious Amen. to the bombs going off, like think about during the pandemic, the way I got my kids through it mentally, because they had a real hard time mentally. I'm sure. And yeah. We but all did really. Yeah. Everybody. I can just imagine. Yeah. Everybody did. I, we had to put that bubble around us and okay. We're staying in this space right now and we're living in the moment. And that's what we have to do. We have to, right. Cause have it, to, it, yeah. it's, it's survival, right? Yeah. Some of it's survival. So what did Marie, Marie said, let's yeah, see. Um, and then Caden said, Carolyn, we put an amazing event this weekend and I'm so proud of her. I know I heard a little bit. Thank you. Gosh, Kate. I wish I would have known. I saw him post and I've been so busy. I would have absolutely, I hope I commented. I don't even remember to tell you the truth, Kate. And I'm so sorry. I want to support y'all and everything y'all do, but we've been busy because we got that amazing opportunity. And ever since then, I've just been like, okay, we got to do this and this and this, because it's coming up Easter Sunday, Easter Friday. So I'm like, we don't have yeah. much time. Next, next I week. Yes, I know. And I'm so, um, I'm so glad y'all had a blast. I did comment about his billboard because I was like, that is the coolest I thing. No, I'm so proud of him. I, listen, Me he's too. the hardest 18 year old kid I've ever known in my life. That's I'm what, so proud of him. And anybody yes. out there who needs radio promotion, you, yes. Caden is your man. I agree. I agree. And, um, um, oh my God, I forgot his name. Lord have mercy. See, I told you my memory is so bad. I'll think of it a minute in a minute. Um, What's his name? 
<laughs> Eric Diamond. Eric Diamond has said those exact same words came out of his mouth. Oh, he isn't that Yes, yeah, he I'm came all the way to Beeville, and um, I was so honored. And he came live on our radio show, nice. and um, it was so nice. It was so nice to be able to actually meet somebody that I've talked to over, you know, over the computer. Um, so anytime you're in Beeville and Texas, well, just come to Texas. All right. Okay, Mary. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to Texas, girl. No, we we got to like, meet. I'm telling you, I owe you. I owe you a huge hug because I'm one of those hug. Don't let go. Don't let go. Oh, don't let go. Thank you you got to. I just did that today. with. I, a, love hugs. I, love I, know, hugs. I just did that with a friend of mine because I said, hey, how you doing? She goes, I'm okay. And I go, you know, no, you know, I read people very well. And I said, you know what? I think I need to give you a hug. And she's like, okay. And so we hug so tight. Oh, Carson's I mean, like that too. They do, you know, they do. Hugs help you, you know. And I'm oh, giving yeah. you a virtual hug. I'm giving all of y'all a virtual hug right now. See, um, let me see. Let me see. Right. Um, no, Kate, I haven't met him in person yet because he didn't come to our event. That's what I meant by that. Uh -huh. I haven't met him in person, but I, I really want nice. to. Hey, tell, let's read what Marie said about and, and then Roger has said something too, but she's saying okay. something about her son. Let me read that. Richie is extremely smart. That's her grandson and talks about things most kids his age usually don't, doesn't know about. He's been talking about, what is that? Catapults. Oh, since he was about three years old, he spends hours building them bridges. Um, wait a minute, building them bridges, you name it. He's very detailed in his drawings of buildings, bridges, etc. I tried to explain to his mom. Let me see. I'm put up here because it's for some reason. It's, oh, there it is. Hold on. I tried to explain to his mom. Where did it go? Um, I tried to explain to his mom that this is why his way of staying calm and expressing himself, but she tells him to sit down and be quiet and go in his room. I understand it's hard for people to, I wish more people would recognize and spend more time with these children. It's hard. It is hard, especially as the adults, because the adults and the parents of those kids and, you know, I'm just saying this for some of them, they are so busy and they're overwhelmed themselves and they may have past traumas. They may be dealing with, this is what I think. They're already dealing with their traumas. And it's kind of like, God is just telling me this right now. Honestly, they're already dealing with their traumas that they are going through or have gone through. And they do not know how to get past that to help them. Their first reaction is to just, please just leave me alone because they are having the same, maybe the similar issues. You know what I mean? And they can't figure it out. Just like all of us, you know, um, I think right. that has a lot to do with it, honey. So don't be too hard on her because she's probably dealing with things too. I'm just saying Right. I mean, do you agree with that, Mary? Yeah, I, yeah, I do. And I'm just sitting here thinking about what you're, what you're talking about and how yeah. um, if we can em, embrace the, the this, I, it's, it's like these kids are coming in and their, their brains are just so magnificent and they're sort of really? out of this world with their yes. thinking. And, and if we can just listen to them, I mean, my children have, they all see things like, you know, my oldest has seen colors and she sees shapes and she, every year she'll say on New Year's, mom, what color does this year feel like? To me, it feels like this is going to be orange this year. Wow. So she has a whole different language always in her life that she's talked about. Like yes, she sees the music this way and it's really fascinating. So I've really come to appreciate um, the different ways that their, their brains work and how they see things. And it's just, to me, it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And so we really want to um, embrace that to help them not shut down. Okay. Because yes. their, their minds, especially till the age of eight, are so wide open to receiving right. yes. that. We were just and, talking about this. That is so, you? I'm telling you, this is, this is, I'm, this is a meant to be moment. A meant to be, oh, yeah. uh, we literally had this conversation. And um, because, you know, they have these, you know, up until the age of eight, I literally said that I said it's either seven or eight because my yeah. grandson is doing the same thing. He's saying right. things and we're like, what? And I'm over here. It's OK. You know, it's OK. And, his, you know, his mom's just looking at him like uh, I said, no, tell us more. You know, I'm trying because. It, that's that's so I mean that's just so amazing. It, but it is it's really it's really true. And so, you know, I mean kids see things, they they do, and they their yeah. their minds are like we said, less convoluted than all of yes. us. And so many kids are shut down, you know, they're like, Oh, you don't talk about that, and that's not good. And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where's that coming from? And and you're crazy. And you know, I mean, some of the stuff my kids have said to me growing up, I mean, thank goodness, I you know, I was raised, I was raised in a Baptist church and had the astrological signs on the wall. That's how my life was, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I was 
I was, because it was, it was, it's all created in the same, the same energy, the same space. And so I was never taught that it was wrong or bad. Now there's a lot of people who believe that the astrological signs are bad. Well, but we have our ancients and the histories. This is the way they did their calendars. This is the way they did their planting. This is the way they did their marriages and they had their babies and they did it by the moon and the stars. And yeah. God, God created all of this, right? Sure, yeah. So, and, and, you know, and if you, and if you don't believe in all that, that's okay too, because I mean, I have friends who don't believe, but uh, what I do know are, is my own experiences in life. That's where I get where, what I know from. Right. You know, amen to that. Honestly, honestly, we are so, it's crazy. We are so similar. You don't even know. <laughs> honestly, it's, freaking, it's my, I'm freaking out over here because of what just happened in art. You know, it's just, Wow. That is amazing because not, not many, not many people talk about that. You know, how no, they don't, we don't because people like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Sure. Yeah. But you know, um, we need to talk after the show. Cause I got to tell you what just happened the other day, just the other day, just the other day. <laughs> okay. Um, it good. It, it, it's so, so amazing. And it, it just my, blows my mind because I'm like, you know, and I'm, I'm starting to where I'm opening up to all those possibilities too, because I know there's, there are things that we just don't understand and there's no way we can. Um, Caden said, Eric with a question mark. I forgot his name, Caden. Can you believe that? I have been running just my brain. My husband, God bless him. He's been helping me so much. I need to get somebody just to follow me around and write everything down. Oh, um, you met him in the Zoom meeting in January, Mary. <laughs> oh, he's saying to you, yeah. Eric, question mark. Oh, okay. Hey, Kaden. Say hi, Caden. Caden, here's your buddy, Carson. Oh, there's Carson. Where did you go, Carson? Were you playing with toys? I teleported to God. No, you did not. <laughs> did you go through the um? What is that called? The um? My grandson used the same word. I teleported. He <laughs> teleported. That's so. He said that. I was like, wow, man, you're lucky. Um, I know. I want to come to Nashville. Um, he's yeah. supposed to be in Atlanta for ISA ISSA in August, so you'll meet him then, man. Is it in August or April, Caden? Uh oh. Because I thought it was in April. In Atlanta, I thought it was April. Maybe it is August. I don't know. Wow. Huh, I okay. want to go to Nashville so bad, Caden. I want to go um, so bad. I really do. It's, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I, I want to go. Crazy I want to go. Yeah, I, it would be a blast. Um, oh my gosh. Um, well, we talked about incredible. a lot of interesting things tonight. For real, I really the space because it's um, you never know with um, you know, you never know with the interview where things are going to go, what you're going to talk yes. about. And, you know, I, I know that um, I, I, it's really fun to be with like-minded people and, yes. and positive people. And it doesn't mean that you have had things easy in your life. It doesn't Absolutely. mean you have things easy every day, but, it, but it really, and like I tell my kids, everything you say, it's a choice, how you it deal is. with it, how you react, what you do about it. You know, you can, I mean, I can look at this glass right here and go, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And that's my choice, right? And somebody yeah. else would think it's the prettiest glass they've ever seen. But this glass is holding water that's nourishing me. So there's a positive. Right. There. So we have a choice yeah. how we look at it, right? You do. And and as hard as it is some days, because I honestly feel the same way, I do it. As hard as it is, it's like, okay, I choose to be, you know, no matter what, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to just focus on being joyful and not letting anyone steal my joy because um, yeah, that is so hard because everything tries to take away our joy. The devil just tries to keep, you know, Oh, here's this, here's this, here's this. And you're like, bam, bam. Almost feels like you got a shield on. You know what I mean? I was thinking that the other day. Uh, like, you do. You okay. have to put your shield on. And, your shield. and I literally said that out loud. I said, I got my shield of armor on, you know, you I, 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 you know, I'm yeah. protected. And, um, um, what's easy, Carolyn, you got to come to Nashville. What's easy. What's easy. Oh, I don't know what that I think means. She, I think she's saying what is easy? Like yeah, nothing, nothing is, easy, right? Yeah. Nothing is easy. You know, right. all we can do is do one day at a take one day at a time. But the main thing I think that I'm taking out of all of these things that God has been blessing me with. And I mean that, and my, what you, and to me, you know, as, as I've gotten older and, and Marie and I, we've all talked about it to me, I see, you know, I think it changes your perspective, your whole mindset for me. It has when you actually see, God at work in your life. And you know that that was God. There's no, you can't oh say, oh, well, well, that just happened. You know what I mean? That now, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's a really amazing. Well, a lot of times we can't see it in the moment. Yes. Like you, we can't see what's going on. We can't, 
we cannot see the clearing for the forest. Amen. Yeah. And that's really that hard. That is so true. That is so true. And what I've noticed when I, you know, now that I look back on my life, because I'm 57, um, just Ooh, all those, <laughs> I know we're almost the same age. I told you, but you know, all of those moments in my life that, and I talk about this almost every week in some degree that I thought I would, Oh, I'm not going to make it through this. Oh, this is, too hard. you know, Oh, I know. I, this is killing me. You know what? I, yeah. And here I am, you know, and you look back, you're like, Oh, I always say that. And it's funny because you don't even realize it when, like you said, you're in the middle of it. You don't even realize it. But when you walk out of that forest and then finally you oh. have a moment, Oh man, that just can't, you have a moment to catch your breath and look back at those trees and go, that forest is not as thick as I thought. My God, isn't that the truth? And you're like, I made it through. What? I survived it. What? You know what I mean? And it's it's almost right. like a celebration. I'm still here. So let me share what I learned in my forest. Man, that's a good analogy. I like that. Yeah. You know, with others. And that's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. Let me share what I learned in my, my forest or whatever. You know what I mean? I think. And I know that you're helping a lot of people. Show me show me the book again, please, Mary. And tell us oh, where yeah. they are. Books, okay, that absolutely. This is the first one. Beautiful. It's called it's called Perfectly Me. Thank you so much. I oh. I just it is just so it's very um well it's just so close to my heart yes. because the way it came into this world you know it was like yes. first, you know so that's the first one and then the second one is called Look at Me so precious and and these are you know these are like. The first one is like newborns and, um, you know, and then the second one is more like crawling and sitting and walking, that kind of those right. stages. And then the third one is going into like elementary and stuff. But if you, you can look and see the words are big. So, that, um, so they're like first readers, you know what I mean? So, and this is the, this is, it, and I didn't want it to just be for boys. I wanted it to be for all yes. children. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's about really embracing. Thank you, Marie, so much. I, I love it. So, hi, Dale, by the yes. way. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Dale. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I need, I, 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 yeah, he lives close up to where I was from. I'm from. I need to get at least book number three because that's my age. And my, my grandson's just now learning how to read. Um, okay. where, where can I get them at? How do you, how do people get these? Because, you are helping so many people with these books. I already know it. Read me, read me one, read me one line out of that book. One little page. Um, pick okay. one. You, you want me to do book three? Yes. Okay. Well, I will tell you, I will tell you in book one, it, it says one of my favorite lines is that my cheeks are chubby because they're full of mommy's kisses. And isn't that the truth? Yes. Right? Yeah. Oh. So, that that was what when I when I looked at him, all I'm telling you it was all God's words, you know. Oh so, gosh, okay, you know what I'm gonna read. I love one of my favorites is one of the last pages. I mean, you can read a little excerpt out of each one if you want, just a tiny, you know. Sure, I can do that. You know, Let's I'm, do that. And, and they're fast. I mean, they're easy. Yeah. Um, but I love that because children at that age, any age, the rhyming. You know, they, that's how my grandson, he would always remember the books and we would read them over and over and over. You know what I mean? And, right. and now that they're reading, okay, go ahead. Oh, I'm so excited. So, okay. I don't know if you can see this or not. Yes. Um, okay. Exactly so my mommy says I'm perfectly made. That's what my mommy says, right? Because that's what we think. My cheeks are chubby because they're full of mommy's kisses. That's so beautiful. <laughs> my eyes are bright. Because they are full of stars. And don't they twinkle when they're babies? They twinkle. They, they? do. Oh, my, my goodness. My toes twinkle because they're full of fairy dust. Oh. So when I read to kids, I'm like, this is what makes your feet so fast. This is why you run so fast, right? My smiles are big because <laughs> they're full of love. Oh, I know. I just get all, I get all gushy inside. I, I'm perfectly made. Yep. That's what my mommy says. And oh. then it says, I am love. I am joy. I am fun. I am curiosity. I am perfection. Perfectly made is what I am. That's what my mommy says. Yep. So it's very cheeky, sweet, very I love it. And innocent and just, when you look at a newborn baby, 
this is like what we feel. This is how we feel Absolutely. about it. Oh you my know? gosh, Mary. So I, I just, you know, this is uh, that, you know, that it's, it's, God. it's positive affirmations that you're telling them when you're reading it. They're telling themselves when they're reading it. I love it because we need books. You know what? I have an idea. We okay. need books like that for adults. We do. Yeah, I know. We do. We really do because we're harder yeah. on ourselves than anyone. For yeah, real. We, do. we really do. And, and there and, may be books like that out there. I'm sure there are. But gosh, if you had something simple for real, Mary, like that for grownups, it was a rough day, but tomorrow will be better. You know what I mean? I did the I best know. I could. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Wow. So they sound so adorable. That's what Mary said. And uh, Dale said, I'm watching a movie called Hell on High, Hell or High Water. Wow, that sounds good. And, uh, <laughs> all the way down from Bethlehem. Oh, Hell or High Water, man. I'm going to make this happen. For real. For okay. real. So here's like the first two pages. It okay. says, my mom thinks I'm sitting here all by myself and that I will be here when she comes back. Ha ha. Look at me. I'm on the move because I'm curious about my surroundings and I want to see and explore everything around me. So it's all about that. It's very, very sweet. Wow. It's about what I can do as a child. I mean, I can read it if you want, or I can go on to book three, whatever you want. No, me to go do. on to book three. Oh my God. It sounds so great. We need to get all three y'all. And it doesn't have to go by the age. Grandma's grandmas and grandpas i'm talking to you too get right. them for those grandbabies because i absolutely am because i love to read i love to have him the grandbabies are getting older let them read them to you you know yeah absolutely that's what oh these are God. so this is the things that's so great okay so this is experiences of kids at this age like four five six seven eight so my mom tries to brush my hair for school but all it does is go everywhere my crazy hair is part of who I am, making me special. Oh, the wonder of me. And it's so funny because, I, well, two weeks ago, I was reading across America. And so I read at Carson School for like three, four, five-year-olds. And it was so funny because I would read these and I was like, anybody got crazy hair in here? And they're all like, they raise their hands, you know, yeah. their hair's all over the place, right? You know? Because mom just has to get them to school. They can't, you know yeah. what I mean? You just can't, can't go. We gotta go. Okay. Excellent. So today, my shoes point out instead of in. Mom, what's wrong with my feet? I ask. My mom laughs. Your shoes are on the wrong feet. I guess you're starting a new trend. And then I'll go, okay, how many kids have the shoes on the wrong feet? Yeah. Not me, you know. Oh, my gosh. You have the best job that you get to do that with a kid. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay, so this is because kids have big ears, right? Right, yes. My grandson is always pulling on his ears. Always. There you go. Yeah, Go ahead. so I can pull my ears out to the sides of my head, which is funny. It makes me feel like I can fly. I close my eyes and imagine they are the wings on a big airplane. I chase my brother around the room and yell, look, I'm going higher and higher. And so this is another thing that kids do, right? They wear the clothes inside out. Carson does yes. all the time. There are days when I want to do things differently, like wearing my shirt inside out. I don't mind that everyone can see my tag because we all have different moods and styles to go with them. My friends say, I'm cool, but I don't like to brag since we're all perfectly made. The wonder of me is just being myself. And then here we go. This one is about toes. Because sometimes we have funky toes, right? Yes. Yes. I have toes that are different sizes and shapes. My mom says, that's how you know we are each made special. Like snowflakes or butterflies, no two people are the same. And then here is this one too. I love all the colors. This was one of, one of my neighbors did all this artwork for me. Um, one of my eyebrows has a squiggle, but I don't <laughs> mind. I enjoy wiggling it around. It makes everyone giggle, including me. And then here is the I am page again. I love oh. all the colors. There's the colors are so I do cool. too. Yes. Um, I am unique. I am funny. I am silly. I am one of a kind. I am wonderful. And then usually they're coming to this stage too, where yes. they're like teeth. So yeah, he's already got his grown teeth coming in already. <laughs> there you go. As I grow, my baby teeth fall out. This leaves wide spaces until my adult teeth grow in. They allow me to make funny faces with my friends. Oh, the wonder of me. And I just love that statement there. And so this one is one of my favorite pages too. But sometimes I like to do things by myself and that is okay. I use my imagination to go to places far away, feeling free and adventurous. 
One day I am the captain of a ship watching for pirates. Another day I'm an astronaut who goes to Saturn and walks on the rings. Perfectly made is what I am. That's what my mom always says. Yep. And I agree because I am perfectly me. And I just, I just, you know, there we go. And I absolutely am married to these books. <laughs> They're just my heart. They're I my honestly, are you kidding me? I absolutely agree. A thousand bazillion, bazillion percent. <laughs> Carson, is Carson still there? No, he went downstairs. <laughs> I was going to say, Carson, I bet you're a thousand bazillion degrees too. Oh, he does. He's so funny because uh, at the library, so they have the books at the library and everyone's smart with oh. him, hold it up. Mom, here I am. And it's really cute, you know, because I mean, you know, for him, this is a, this is an interesting way for him to identify with himself and to yes. know that. You know, he is because he's had the conversation with me. He's come in. Mom, why are my ears so big? And why yeah. is this? Why is that? You know, and it's like, OK, listen, this is the way we were made. And this is what we do. We accept who we are so that yes. whenever somebody says something to you that maybe is hurtful or mean, you can say, well, you know, I, I like the way I am. And, you know, just because you don't, that's your problem, not mine. I mean, and it really is somebody else's problem yeah, and they don't look yeah. the way you look. It's not your problem because we're, we have to accept who we are. However, we come into this world. The interesting thing is, you know, we all, we see the same sunrise. We see the same sunset. We look at the same moon and we breathe the same air and the same color runs through our blood. And we, we got to embrace that. I mean, it's true, even though I think about this, if God just, if the earth just had salt or pepper, how boring would life be? So we have tons of spices, right? Yeah. To make our food taste better, to make our life more enriched. That's why there's so many of us, right? Oh my God. Right? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Oh my gosh. So everybody needs to get on board, right? Let's get on the Absolutely. spice board. I, I have said that a, a lot. If we were all the same, life would be so boring because oh. I make so much fun of myself. I, when I do my shows, I just want people to be happy and I don't care. I'm at this point. I am me. Yeah. I love me now. I mean, I wish I could lose some weight and I oh, wish I could. Yeah. Do Let's do it. Let's go. You know what I mean? But I love me and we my job you. on this earth I is to. Well, our, our job, I feel like my, my job is to try to make other people smile because, and to try to make them realize that they really are important and they really do matter, whether it's, oh my gosh, because we're all struggling, right, Mary? We're yeah. all struggling with something. And yeah. like you said, what I always say, I'm not perfect. That's for sure. I mean, God oh. knows I'm not perfect, but you know, that's what it is. He uses the imperfect people. <laughs> he calls you up. He calls, he calls you up when you're not ready. Yes. The unprepared are called and Lord knows, don't we feel that way because yes. we've not lived a perfect life. We've not done things that were like, we've made mistakes. We're human. There's no way for us to not make a mistake. Right. There's right. No way, right. And um, I know that we try to help our children not make mistakes, but they have to make them too. You know, they do. And no matter what we try, no matter how much, how much it hurts us when they do, because it does, it does hurt us, but we can't, it's like, oh, I couldn't be there every second of the day. You know, they're going to, they have to live their own life. And it is hard. It is very, very hard. Yeah. And Mary, yeah. I tell them where they can find your books. Did you already say that? I got so involved in this conversation. Oh, oh I'm, I, yeah. And I don't even know. I, I don't know if I did either. I, I know I'm so hot right now from all of our talking. I'm, like, Ooh, I'm having a hot flush. Okay. Yes. So oh, you too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank God I'm not alone. No, girl. No, it's like, okay, take it off. Blah, 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 you know, anyways. Well, um, while you were doing all that, <laughs> you want to <laughs> laugh? Well, you were getting your jacket off. I was over here. Dang, I forgot to shave my sideburns. <laughs> it's hard, y'all. It is hard as you get older. Nobody told me. I know. Nobody men, told me. No, men, <gasps> men, men age so much more gracefully than I us do. do. It's just, you know, we, we're just SOL. You have to have periods, really babies, you know. <laughs> and then men are just like, it's so red. I'm like, 
I know men are just like, look at me. I'm so yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm distinguished. <laughs> are my hair is falling out. It's like <laughs> I'm bald and I'm so cool looking, right? I mean, yeah, and I'm like, oh, I bought something the other day, and I got to share this at the show. My eye, see how little my eyes are. <laughs> No, I can't see how little your eyes are. They're beautiful. Yes, what are you talking yes, about? Yes, you can see. Like, no. Makes me laugh because You're I didn't really. Up. My eyes are getting lower and lower and lower. You know why? Because you're tired of life. You're I don't know what it is. And so I bought these things. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did this. I keep seeing these advertisements. They have little things now you can put on your eyelids to lift and your eyes. Up. Up. Oh. It's, it's supposed to. However... <laughs> that's a disclaimer however i need to give a disclaimer oh do you realize how hard it is to get those little, they're just little on the right spot on your eye when you wear glasses and you can't see and then you stick them on there wrong and these things are made out of like super glue it feels like and i literally skin my eye trying to pull it off so it's like taking off false eyelashes and you feel it like was so it literally <laughs> I yeah, told my husband, he was laughing so hard because I've tried the false side. Anyway, getting old is not for the faint of heart, right? You know, I mean, there's a, oh price for, there's a price for trying to look halfway decent these yeah. days. I'm telling you what. And so I just said, you know what? I, I can barely like my, I, there, there. Okay, there we go. I need to try to get them on. I can't get them. Oh my God, it's so funny. So I'm like, it. and I told my husband, now what? Now my eyes are getting so <laughs> It's not okay. Okay, it's not fair. It's not fair. I will okay. tell you, Maria. Thank you so much. I have to tell you something. Carson says one day, oh, bald me, men say bald things. Isn't that brilliant? Say it again. Bald men say bald things. Isn't that brilliant? I think that's brilliant. That's I think it should be brilliant. It should be on a t-shirt. It should be. <gasps> I know. I love it. I now, wait a minute. Since you shared it with me. <laughs> I know, right? Now we have to share the profits of the t-shirt. <laughs> Women with facial hair. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've been struggling with all this. I, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving me hot flashes. Right? Oh, my God. You know, like I said, we have to laugh. Where did it go? Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, and Marie, thank you so much. I love tonight's show, too. Boy, this is Me, about too. I, I, I this is, we should have brought our popcorn and soda. I know. See? <laughs> I don't know. Where. Okay, so I just, I got this one. <laughs> no, what is that? That's, that's a fancy little razor. <laughs> My husband's going to go, you did not talk about that on the air. I know. I'm like, are you going to do it? Go do it, girl. Do it. That's not, but wait, there's more. Oh, no. <laughs> you are cracking me up. We need a commercial for this. No, we do. We really do. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know where it went. I just bought another one. I can't find it. But I bought another one that's supposed to work better. Anyway. Oh, my God. It's a constant. It's a constant battle. <laughs> and let's not even talk about nursing babies and what happens. Oh, Dear. Lord. That was a my, daughter, my daughter calls it her upper register. I'm like. <laughs> I'm just like, oh Lord, God help Oh my me. God, yeah, for real. <laughs> I, and, and the guys just walk around looking all, <laughs> looking. So I know it is not fair. I told my husband that. Did you have you lost weight? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Have do you ever watch the comedian Leanne? Is it Leanne Morgan? Is that her name? God, she's is that, hilarious. Is that the blonde the blonde lady, older lady? Yes, yes. yes. Well, I've been watching her. She's our age, and um, she well, she talks not about she no, she's in her fifties. I think she's yes. 50, 56, 57. It's gotta be the same one because she's hilarious. She's from Tennessee, and she talks yes. about her, her stomach where she sits down. Her stomach's on her lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's my true. god. I love it's her. true. Oh um, my God. If I want to do a stand up routine so bad because I'm serious, nobody told me it was going to be like this. <laughs> it's like, you're like, you're right. Okay, you have to read what Marie just said. Okay. <laughs> when I got to be about 12 years old, I began to learn what my granny always meant in her saying it had to be a man that invented the bra. Amen to that, sister. <laughs> Amen and to he, that. And he never tried it on. So he just said, <laughs> I just got to make this for women because I need to. <laughs> oh, this, this is a good idea. 
let's let's <laughs> let's cut off her circulation. Yeah. <laughs> and leave yeah, indentions. that'll that'll work. They'll be okay with that. I <laughs> leave indentions in her shoulder and her back. And <laughs> oh my God, this is it probably was a man. It probably was a man. Oh we my need to God, look it up. we need to look at who Google. Somebody Google. Carson took my phone. I don't know. Ooh, I know. I bet you it was a man. Yeah, who invented the bra? I had my Marie, little special razor I bought. Let's ask Marie. And this is water, but we are laughing so hard. It feels like it's more than water. Let me see here. I, I know it does. And I'm telling you what, after Saturday night's music event, Sunday, I was like, I have a fun over, not a hangover. <laughs> I didn't drink too much fun a last fun night. Over? Over, man. May, I, may I borrow that at my show? Yes. A fun over. Yes. Brett, if you're listening, write that down. My poor husband. <laughs> <I> know, right? <laughs> Who invented bras? We're going to find out. Okay, let's find out. They're fired. Mary Phelps Jacob. Oh, it was a, a lady. Woman. It was a woman who did it. Okay. She she made one after making one from two handkerchiefs to wear under an evening dress. Handkerchiefs? That's sad. They're not going to do anything for you. <laughs> well, oh my God. God. That's no support at all. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, um, I just learned something new tonight. Well, me too. Well. You know how much money we save. What? what? I said, you know how much money we could save. If we just go get some handkerchiefs and so real. Together. If that would work, <laughs> much than a bra. I'm like fifty bucks, a hundred bucks. I'm like, what I need like some bungee cords and. <laughs> <laughs> some bungee cords and some freaking something. <laughs> I'm like, all I know is that the price of the things they need to have like flashing lights, a band. I here I go. I'm going down those stairs. <laughs> I am carpe diem today. Right? Oh, oh my God. That's hilarious. Oh my God. That's how I feel. So um, we're going to be doing this big show on Easter, uh, you know, Good Friday. And I'm so excited. But I've got something so crazy planned and I may just do it. Um, I have an evening gown. <laughs> I have an evening gown. Ooh. That, okay. that I, wore <laughs> gala. I don't know. And oh, it, nice. I'm going to look terrible in it because I've gained so much weight, but I may just wear it, but I have bad feet, so I can't wear heels. <laughs> That's okay. I don't wear heels either, but I want I you can't. to take a picture for me. So. I will. I'm going to be so embarrassed, but I'm going to try to squeeze this into that. It's a beautiful dress too, but I think <laughs> I'm going to do it because I think it'd be funny. Um, even the, our, the owner of the radio station said, yeah, you should. I bet the woman in older times thought it was a man that invented the corset. Yeah, for real. Those I things know. would literally cut your breath off. Some women would tighten them so much that they would literally pass out. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. Ridiculous. Didn't you watch Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> she passed out. Elizabeth did. She <laughs> fell off the deck. No, I, I bought me one of those things that, you know, hold it all in and you pull them up. Well, what happens is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I said, that's at your own risk to do that. Okay. It is. Well, because I don't understand. Why do they. <laughs> Is it just me? My body's got a weird shape because every time I try to wear them, my stomach pushes it down and goes, Broop, and my stomach just comes out. <laughs> and it's like, uh, can I get my money back? This is yes, not please. <laughs> Check, please. I was like, how? Oh, how far along are you? No, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat. It's menopausal fat, people. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. That is after so having, I don't know who, which child it was, but my stomach was still there right after it because it is after having babies. And this this man in the grocery store asked me how far along I was. And I said, honey, this is good old fashioned fat. And you should not ask a woman that question. And his wife was standing there. Oh, that's so funny. I, it just came out of my mouth. I wanted to punch it. So funny. I, so I, was, I already decided, um, Caden, you need to book us a show somewhere. So we can call your routine together. Right. We're I'm already on. like, okay, we got this. You talk about that. I'll talk about this. <laughs> we check, check, check. We covered everything tonight. Oh my God. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. How did we go from autism to bras? That is the weirdest segue. <laughs> I hope y'all have had fun out there, man. I, I just hope nobody I know has been watching. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Hopefully they go back and watch it. You know what? I want to tell you folks, when you go back and watch this, yes, I'm talking to you. Let me get, you can't tell because my eyes are so little. 
No, they're not. Stop. They are tiny. Look. I see your Stop. eyes. <laughs> they're blue. Are your eyes blue? They are blue. Look. And I don't even see okay. that. Because my eyelids are so little. <laughs> okay. So blue. you have a beautiful blue eyes. Oh, well, thank you. I, I used to think so, but I can't see them anymore. <laughs> Carolyn, you're so funny. You're me <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you. So <laughs> when you go back and watch this, please share it because, you know, we have been honored and I mean that honored. Mm -hmm. I hope you know that to have Thank so many you. beautiful, 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 beautifully talented people on the show. And our whole point is if you're passionate about it, I want to help you whatever I can do. You know what I'm saying? And you are so passionate about it, Mary. Mm -hmm. You are so passionate about it. And I you know, there's something there and I'm telling you, it's a God thing. There's, uh -huh. um, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I do. And yeah. I want to help you in any way I can always. Okay. So you send me, I don't know what little bit I can do, but I will promote you. I will share your post. I will, whatever I can do. I'm definitely going to get the book because I want to get all of them, but I only need the, the third one, you know, and okay. my grandson yep. would love it. I want to get that one. Did you ever say where to get them at? We got, got kind of, uh, can no. you get them anywhere? <laughs> I was just thinking that I didn't even tell anybody. And hey, uh, Marie, listen, I hope you figure out what happened to your, when you figure out what happened to your figure, then you call me and let me know what happened to my figure. Okay. Wait a minute, when both of y'all figure out, please call me and let me know. <laughs> Let's do a three-way on the phone. Okay. So you can find my books at, on Amazon. Anywhere okay. books are sold. If you go to, uh, you put my name in on Amazon, Mary Elizabeth Jackson books, it should bring all my books up. It should bring the okay. anthologies I'm a part of on, up there too. Um, and I've got a middle grade reader coming out soon. I'm so excited. We just oh, need to get yes. it. I'm going to need and, that. Uh, okay. And it, it's, it, that for real. It, it's, it's got lessons in it and teaching and, and I just, oh it's God. a good story. Um, let's see. You could go to maryejackson.com. My books are on my website. You know, it'll take you where you can go. My shows are there. Uh, so my live show is there and there's a link to cover to cover my radio show and there's wow. stuff for autism, you know, things for parents. There's also yeah. some free, free downloadables on there, um, like, you know, ways to get, uh, gosh, I wish I could remember exactly the titles of them, but like there's tools there, you know, for okay. depression and things that you could do to help your children and things that you can help your child and things that you could do to help yourself, you know, process through a better mental health space, that kind of thing. Amen. So there's a, uh, Marie says she's laughed so hard and I like that comment. It's called Life, Mary. Men, Babies, and Gravity. Oh, good. I like That's the title of the show. Yeah. Or the next book, right? Men, Babies, and Gravity. Good idea. Good yeah, idea. If you need one. me to insert my part about the... <laughs> well, we, we have to go after hours for the rest of the conversation. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, my gosh. I, I have had so much fun with you, Marie. Thank you for being here, man. Olga, where are you? If you're still here, I love you so much and I miss you so much. I hope you're okay. I've been, I was thinking about you hard the other night. I told Brett, I said, I hope she's okay. I haven't heard from her. Mm. So I just to see her copy and pay, uh, type something made me happy that she's okay. Thank yeah. God. Thank and God. we may have lost, I think Roger and um, Caden fell off. I, don't I know. think all the guys left once we started talking about, yeah, you know. girl stuff. <laughs> No, they'll come back. I well, know. guys, you you got it good. You got it good. Just remember, love your love your woman just like she is, because we go through enough. And you know, we love you. We love you. I know um, oh my gosh, um, ladies and gentlemen, I I had a blast tonight. I want you to go back, like I said, like, comment, and share. Get Mary Elizabeth Jackson's books. Get them. I'm getting Please the third one. I'm gonna go. I guess on Amazon. Right now and order it. Would that be the easiest for me, probably? Or go to your website, whatever. Are they the and, same price on either? Are they the same? Yeah. And, and my website will just take you to Amazon. So we, you know, I don't sell them right off off my website. Yeah. They go to web. Yes, but please do. And then you know, what, you know, uh, and I and I'll share with you the link for Brushwood Media where my show is for Saturdays and Sundays, um, like this week. And I have somebody coming on who is a mindfulness coach, and she's helped thousands of families and kids and schools and stuff. So she's really just an incredible woman. Uh, I'm excited about this week, this weekend's episode. And then, you know, check out Sisters J. We didn't even talk about my girls. Yes, I know we didn't um, get to it. They're coming on the show. When is it again? Do you remember? I don't know. I don't have my calendar in front of me, but Let's they are coming on. And, 
They're going to be coming on Carolyn's Corner. I'm so excited. And those are both your daughters. I knew they were. I was like, that's so much fun. You're going to have oh so much. They're going to have so much fun. With you. They're um, they're just trying to write positive, conscious music for the world. You know, of just they are. yeah, I guess of course they are because that that's just that's the way they're they're driven, the way they're they're raised. You know, they're coming music. on the twenty fourth of June, and the reason I said of course they are because they have you as a role model and you as a mother, mm -hmm. and you have raised them to be caring, loving, kind. I mean, really, you've done such an excellent job, and I haven't even met them yet, but I already mm -hmm. know. I, I honestly, and Carson, what a delight. It's oh, Carson, right? What yeah. a delight. You're coming on the 24th of June. So oh, y'all mark that on your calendars. I mean, as soon as we get closer, I'll start sharing it, but it takes a while. We've been, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed that we have so many great people coming and we're, everything's growing, including my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> So the karaoke shows are getting bigger. We're going to be at the grand. I can't, I still can't believe it. Lord, I think grand. that should be, that's the it, title of our tour. We're going to, yes. that's the title of our tour. For real, Everything for real. Getting better, including my stomach. Wait a minute. I thought we already had a title. The What's the other title? I like that one too. <laughs> Everything's growing, including the hair on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh we are ready we're gonna be going on the road pretty soon so y'all make sure make sure you stay tuned for those special announcements we, we have to we have to do we have to. i'm not even kidding i would do it with you in a heartbeat i really would i've had so much fun it's like i've known you my entire life i know, I know. this is hilarious oh i had so much fun with oh you Mary. thank you so much for having me on and i'm so glad it worked out and i think this yes. is more fun than at four o'clock today. Yeah. So um it's all good. And and love yeah. you, soul sister and Marie. Thank you so much for all your and you know all your comments, no, sharing and Roger and Olga and Caden and everybody else. So. Everyone. Yeah, thank you. I haven't laughed this hard in such a long time. It's called Life Mary. My, oh, I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to every time we do a show and I'm having this much fun just interacting and just hanging out. I always hate to leave. Best show ever, Marie. See that? You got a best show ever. Marie has been at every show. Thank oh you, my Marie. gosh. I am very honored. And I yeah, didn't even bring, I have a didgeridoo downstairs. I wish I had it up here. I would blow it right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me go back in my memory bank. Hold on. I have actually heard. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start stopping and going back in my memory bank because I can't remember anything. I've heard of a didgeridoo. Yeah, it, it's an Australian it right Aborigine. Here. It's an Australian Aborigine. It, it's, you know, it's a long stick and they blow through it. And it, it sounds like, you know, it. my kids can do it. I can't. But it's we we say it sounds like a like an, an elephant farting or something because we don't really know how to do it very well. But we've had so much fun with it. We used to, when we first got it, my husband would go outside and he would blow it out and tell everybody, <laughs> be like, it's time to go to bed to all the neighbors. And we, oh my gosh. we, we pre pandemic, well, you know, you have friends over whatever yeah. neighbors and, and everybody who came in that was new had to blow the didgeridoo, just, you know, just for fun. I mean, oh you got to give me one of those. I buy it so much. Stuff. Yeah. You, you have to buy one. Just that's how you can start your show off. A didgeridoo. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I bet you a didgeridoo is expensive. I have no idea. I, I do not know if it is or not, but you know, I just, we have, we've got to embrace life and we and do, we really, really do. Whenever we can have fun, we have to have fun because there's so many times when things are not fun. So this carries us through. Amen. And you know what you just made me do? I'm for real. And that doesn't happen to me very often, Mary. Uh oh, what you I do. just, you just made me take a deep breath. I literally felt a peaceful presence. And I'm not even joking. Wow. I literally just brought so much peace from what you said, because I know for a fact that God sent you to me and Caden sent you to me and we were brought together for a reason. And that does not happen. We need to take our time, take a breath, be still, right? Be still, just trust, just trust because we're get, we gave it all to God. Let him handle all that, you know, let him, he's going to work us through it. He will, if we just believe and He's doing it for you. He's doing it for me. He's. I'm just honored to know you. Honored. Oh, honored. I'm so honored to know you too. Oh my God, absolutely. This has been this has been the funnest interview I've ever been on. I'm so glad. Oh. For real, I, I wanted to be just 
we're just hanging out, you know, oh, um, and because we're just, I tell my, I tell people all the time, you know, I don't care if you're a billionaire, you're still a human being like I am. You know what I'm saying? Well, and you had to, you had to do something to get there. So before yes. you had all that, unless you were born into it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. So absolutely. I, I don't, and I don't fan girl over much because right. we're all, we're all this, you know, we're all the same. Yes. Right. So, but there are some people in this world that are just yeah. so significant. Just, I know. Um, Amazing. I know. Go, I know. What an honor. And you're one of those people, child. Oh, come on now. I'll call you child because we are we're big kids. So I love it. I love it. You know, and I I gosh, I could just talk to you all night for real. But I, I guess I better go because I have so much work to do because we have I've got to get ready. Um, oh, next week, next Monday. Let me put that on the screen real quick because I'm gonna feel terrible if I forget. Um, I have another special guest. Gosh, every one of our guests are special. I just you know what? You remind me. I, that's what I do before I open every show. Oh, I'm so excited today. And I'm yeah. excited every single show because it's so every. many people. Yeah. It's just amazing, so many, isn't it? So so this, yes. This is a, this is fitting right in. Our, this artist that's coming. Where'd it go? Hold on. Let me put that back up there. Why is it not working? Okay. Next show is Ma Bell. Ma Bell. And she is a comedian slash singer songwriter. And it's going to be epic. I can just imagine. Look how much fun we had. Oh, my gosh. Marie said the three of us need to have a party together. Amen. For real. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. So, you know, we're going to make something come up one of these days. It's just hard. Everybody's busy. But you know what? We got to make time. If not, we got it on here so we can come together. Um, any chance you get, Mary, please join us on the show and comment. Um, please. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I will. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yes, and absolutely. Love you so much. And Marie, oh, love I love you. you too. Marie, yeah. oh, Marie has been such a helpful part of my life. She's sending me artists from everywhere. She's keeping the calendar for me. Caden has been sending me people from everywhere. In fact, Caden sent me you, I think. I'm getting so confused. I have to ask. I'm so yeah. just woo, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. And I, I could who would have ever thunk it? As somebody would have said, I never would have thunk it. I'm like, what? I, know, right? Right. I was hoping for maybe an HEB, you know? And we're doing all this stuff in our 50s, which is I like, know. God, I wish I was 30 doing all this. I know I so much I want to do, you know? Yes. So, yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? But we weren't ready then. We weren't seasoned. We didn't have enough of the, the right seasoning, you know? Yeah. I don't know we, could make, we couldn't make fun of ourselves then too. Yeah. So. No, that's a lot of it because we were so self into ourselves at that time. Now it's like, eh, it's too late for me. Save yourself. <laughs> 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 it's too late for me. There's nothing that can be done about this. Just remember, save yourself. Oh my God, yes. Take care I, of your eyelids I, before they start drooping. Like I think Carolyn needs to do stand-up comedy too, and that's on my bucket. List. I want to. I really. I, I've to. never been brave enough to do it, and it's it's one of my things I want to do in life. For real. Well, guess what? At our um, new show, we're gonna we're gonna add more of comedy to it because that's what I've I just thought about it a, a few years back. I was like, I would like to do comedy. I want to make people laugh. Man, me and you need to pair up. I'm not kidding. We need to do a a, a stand up uh, show. Absolutely, let's do That'd it. Be fun. I like I like ad lib. I like it where we just do what we're doing now because we're like, what's going to come out of our mouths? We don't know. <laughs> um, I really think Carolyn needs to do. Oh, thanks, Marie. I know. You know what? I'm going to be doing it, Marie. We got to figure out a way to get you here on Good Friday for this big show. It's important, and you're important, and Olga's important, and everybody's important. I wish I had a. If I had a million dollars, I don't. I barely have two dollars to rub together. We'll figure out a way. Well, I, I have two dollars. I'm grateful. I'm just right. kidding. Well, I love you, lady. I love you too, sweetheart. And keep in touch, please. I will. Okay? Well, listen, we have to plan our show. So we have no, to. No, I'm it. not kidding. I'm really serious about that. Really if, you can come to Beville, if you can come to Beville, I'll get you on that big giant stage that I was telling you about. Uh huh. I got. Oh, you. Marie said she's going to be our biggest fan, literally. Yay! <laughs> we have one fan. <laughs> we have one fan. <laughs> and we need to get some fans. Uh, Mary, we need some hand fans. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard when you don't well, have any fans. Hot flashes. I know. I, we need the fans for our hot flash. <laughs> what do you mean I don't have any fans? I got and you're fanning it. Oh my god, these ideas just coming out of the sky. Thank you, Lord, for sending me that idea. Ridiculously Crazy. funny. I love Crazy. it. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh god. my god, I'm doing it. I, I'm gonna have to find some hand fans. I don't know what you call them. Hand fans. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you, Marie. I know you will. I love you, Marie, so much. Olga, I love you if you're still on. If you're not, come back and watch it again and, and laugh. Okay. I want you to be laughing. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I'm worried about you. Mwah. Oh, one of the most supportive people I've ever met in my whole life, Marie oh, and Olga. Honestly, 
They've That's given me so much courage and inspiration and just, you can do it. And I'm like, wow, I never had that in my life. So you, you need, you need it. We need yeah, it. You do. Right? Dollar Hand Tree. Got it. Dollar Tree got you covered. Okay. I'm a, you I'm have $2. Ahead. You have two dollars, and we no, no, they're a dollar. Yeah, dollar twenty-five now. Oh, okay. So I'm going to scrounge around for some for some quarters. Why does it say can respot us the fifty cents? I have to ship your fan to you. I, know. <laughs> I didn't know they were called hand fans. I'm just making it you know what? I'm going to go Dollar Tree and get me one. Not tonight. It's too late. Um, I will. I'm going to incorporate this into my act about the hand fan. Yeah, you should. Yeah, and um. You need to make plans to come to be the next Friday. I, you know, oh my God. I wish you could. I'm not kidding. I'll buy them for you. Thank you, Marie. Well, listen. You can, you can buy them and when I pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So just so you know, Caden and I are trying to do something June 8th here. Um, the next artist thing, get together. So we're trying to do it around CMAs. And we want to have, <clears throat> I don't know how many artists over 20 artists, I think if we can wow. come and we'll raise money for autism and awareness again. But I said to him, we should do it somewhere. We could have food trucks and we can have vendors, you know, that would be yes. really cool. do it outside somewhere. Yes. Except it's hot. Yes, it is. I'm allergic to the heat. I break out in sweat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I do. I it. Well, no, I, I believe you. I believe you. All right. Well, we'll figure something out. So, okay. uh, yeah, hey, we, ladies we, and gentlemen, I don't want to get off here. I'm having so much fun. We're just I hanging know. out. I know. See you guys. Hey, I'm near Nashville, Tennessee. I'm she is in Nashville. Home. And I've always wanted to go, but I'm scared of high, you know, I got anxieties. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of high bridges. That's not good. There's not good. There's not good. Ha uh ha. -huh. There's not, that's not good, huh? What do you mean there's not good? I no, he's talking about your, he's talking about your heat that I think he's talking oh. about, right, Caden? Like her breaking out with the heat? Yeah, I break out. I think that's what the like, I say I'm allergic to pain. I break out in screams. <laughs> oh, my God. God. That's awesome. All right. Well, okay. We gotta, we, I know, if we don't, I know my husband's probably like, when is my wife coming? Yeah. My yeah. husband just walked through the door too. He looked at his watch. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mary. He's not wearing a watch. He looked like he was pretending to look at his watch. Oh my God. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. Oh yes, my God. Mary. Okay, Mary. ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I hope you made we made you smile tonight. You made me smile. Y'all made me smile just being here with you. I haven't just hung out like this in a long time. I'm so grateful. I am Keep too. Smiling. Oh, I Keep smiling. Keep trying to be much. kind to people, folks. Please. Um, is there room for three in the comedy act? Boo boo would be there in who's boo boo <laughs> would be there in tilt in tilt. Okay, that's what he meant. I knew Kate wouldn't say anything mean. I was like, hey, that, no, was that, was, that was Marie. Marie said that. No, but who's boo boo? I don't know. Marie, share me, share with me who boo boo is. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to go, but we got to go. Um, I watched that cartoon. I miss it. That's the only impression I do, except I for I do, I do um, Coal Miner's Daughter. Oh, you I do, do, do? I do. You remember the movie Coal Miner's Daughter? I only saw it like 50 times. Yeah. You, have you ever seen it? Okay. Yeah. You have. Remember when, uh, <laughs> it's hard to do it because I'm laughing. You remember when Do was built to the house at the end? Yes. Okay. That's my, it's the only one that I can actually say. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me get into character. Hold on. I'm probably not going to do it right. Ready, Caden? You're going to want to represent me after this. Ready? I didn't say I didn't want no new house. I just said I want the window in the back of the house. Very good. I would hire like, you. I would totally hire you. That's awesome. And my husband do. <laughs> I got to stop. Maybe I'm one of them bologna and cheese sandwiches. Anyway. <laughs> Oh That's my God, bologna and cheese. Remember that? Yeah, bologna yes. sandwiches. Oh my God, okay. yes. I got to go. Hey, we got to keep having fun in life. Keep smiling, Mary. Yes. Keep smiling. Please do what you're doing because you're helping so many people. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I man. am so proud of you. And I mean that. I am so proud of you. That means a lot to me. It really does more I, than you. You're, gosh, it's so cool to meet you. And what an inspiration you are. That was good. <laughs> you heard you're my newest client. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Caden, you want Caden representing you because he he kicks butt, man. I want I want you, Caden. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm too sure. laughs>
<laughs> I choose you. Three chairs turn. Bam, let me push my bam. There was my button. I turned around that's, for you, Caden. That's right. All right. Yeah, there you go. All right. Love you. <laughs> Bye, sweetheart. God bless you guys and gals. Honestly. Mm -hmm. We'll see yeah. you later. Thank Bye. you, Mary. Bye. Thanks.